Namaste, I am Dr. Tejaswini and welcome to Best of Homeopathy. In today's video, I will be telling you about 5 homeopathic remedies which can be used very effectively and safely during fevers. Whether the fever is because of change of weather, exposure to cold air or even if it is because of infections like dengue, malaria, influenza, then when you take these medicines at the right time and under the right guidance, it will put an end to the fever at a very early stage so that you don't have to suffer for very long. The first remedy is Aconite Nepalist. Aconite is a medicine which can be used when the fever is just beginning. Say you have been exposed to cold, like you have traveled in the morning. By evening, when you have developed this runny nose or throat pain or even fever, that is when Aconite will be very helpful. So taking Aconite in the 30th potency repeatedly for 3 to 4 times a day as per the guidance of your doctor, can stop the fever at this stage itself so that you don't have to suffer from the further consequences of it. So whenever there is a change of weather or even if you are planning to travel, then you can get this medicine prescribed by your doctor and use it when you are in need. The second remedy is Belladone. Whenever after being exposed to cold, it has settled in one part. It could be your tonsils or simply sore throat or it could be even your sinuses. Benadona is especially useful whenever there is very high fever, but if you touch the hands and feet of the person, it will be icy cold to touch. Another important point for Benadona is the redness of face. So whenever there is high fever, if you have redness of the face with severe headache and your palms and soles are cold to touch, then you can use Benadona in 30th potency repeatedly in hot water and find great relief. The third remedy is Bryonia. So, Bryonia is used whenever the cold settles in the chest, leading to lung infections or in other words, pneumonia. Severe lung infection where even breathing is painful or even lying down can be difficult. That is when Bryonia will clear out the infections and help you get rid of pneumonia. Another very important symptom for Bryonia is dryness. There is going to be no running nose or even the cough is going to be dry. So, if you have a child at home or even elderly people who get severe cough and they want to hold their throat or they want to support their chest whenever they cough, that is when Bryonia will be helpful. Along with this, if the person wants to drink a lot of water again and again, that is when Bryonia will be very helpful. The fourth remedy is Epatorium perfoliatum. So as the rainy season begins, then the cases of dengue, malaria, chikungunya also increases. So you know that in dengue or chikungunya, there will be very severe body pain. That is when Eupatorium will be very helpful. When you find that every part of the body is paining, every joint movement is difficult and you have very high fever. Along with that, if you are getting severe headache and pain behind the eyes, then Eupatorium will bring very fast end to this fever. Along with these severe body pains, if they are wanting to drink more and more water, but whenever they drink water, they start to shiver. That is when Eupatorium has to be used. The fifth remedy is Arsenicum alum. If you are experiencing severe weakness during fever, so much that you find it difficult to get up and just use the washroom, then arsenicum album can be very helpful. This medicine can be used when the fever, cough and other symptoms are more at night and because of cough you have to get up and sit in bed so that you find relief. Then this remedy can be used. Along with this, during fever, if you want to keep drinking water, like how you drink tea or coffee, that is, you want to take sips of water again and again, then arsenicum album is a remedy which you need to take. So this was a short video to let you know how homeopathy can help in different types of fever and how you can find immediate result by using it. Please remember that fever is not a diagnosis or a disease. It is a symptom which is telling you that there is something wrong with your body. So instead of focusing on bringing your temperature or fever down, find out why you have developed the fever and treat it. If you found this video helpful, then do like the video, share it among your family and friends. Subscribe to get more such informative content. Stay healthy. Thanks.